dear God, Holy Ghost, Myron Cope, please let the Steelers do good this season. Amen. And that counts as Church's Week. Deb, there's stained glass. Church. This week's episode of Pittsburgh Dad is brought to you by the law firm of Bordis and Bordis. Now, I ain't worried about the Bengals. Oh, they're coming off a Super Bowl. Yeah, a Super Bowl loss. Who the hell's worried about someone coming off a big loss? Look at it's Mitt Romney again. For the love of God, just give Trubisky a chance. Crying out loud. Trubisky ought to give. Najee Harris. Oh, I've seen enough. Put Pickett in there. I wish I loved anything as much as this offense loves three of that's. The Steelers offense is like Snapchat. They just disappear after a few seconds. Better get a screen grab. There is proof that it's even out there. Hey, guys, help yourselves over there. Got a whole spread. Deb made that taco dip, and Linda brought that sandwich ring. Oh, and Joe Burrow is setting us up with a whole platter of turnovers. Deb, I know I said I thought the Steelers were going to lose by 21, but that's just what they call delusioning yourself. I do that all the time when I'm smiling down your mums. Don't, don't, don't cut to Evan Warshburn. I don't need to know what the Ken doll feels about this game. Let him down there on the phone. Probably Googling where the nearest Hollister is. The Bengals punter have been on the team for 208 games. I don't know what he'd done, but that judge sure as hell didn't go easy on him with that sentence. No, Rick, pizza's all gone. The only thing we're eating up now is clock. Deb, I'm fine. Yeah, I know the doctor said less stress. And technically, this still is less stress than last year. And now TJ Watt is hurt. Great. Somebody get up to Cincinnati, give him one of them winter soldier arms. where they make him? Wakanda. Where's that at Butler County? How do we get five turnovers and we're gonna still lose the game? How? You get Palm Brady five turnovers? He's already at home right now with Giselle, retiring, then unretiring, already won the next game. Can the Steelers just give me a few weeks into the season before exploding my chest? And I can't take these kicks no more. I can't take this. Last play of the game. Here's the snap. Kicks up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Deb, how's come all of a sudden that looked like Obi-Wan's Kenobi? I'm dead. Great. I, I knew it. I just knew it. I knew eventually the Steelers would do me in. It was either going to be them or Chi Chi's. Well, now I'm as lifeless as the Steelers offense. Hey, Deb, can you like still hear me? Or do I, I got to communicate through Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> Look at that. Deb don't even care. The Steelers turned me into Jacob Marley, and already she's over there selling my old Star Wars toys on eBay. All this glowing stuff. This don't like cost money, does it? I better not get a bill for this. I'm going to tell you right now, if it's gas powered, just shut it down. Uh, Deb, don't let the cat lick at my body. Get out of there. This ghost stuff is bullcrap. Because I'm still sweating. Can ghosts still have heart attacks? I'm about to find out with his next kick. All right, Boswell. That kick is up. And? Was that the ball hitting the upright? Or was our table ready down Benny Hannes? This game is nuts. What is this, like the 11th game-winning field goal attempt? This game is just like the cereal selection down Graham's house. All we got is kicks. Oh my god, he missed again. I mean, somehow, they figured out how to lose three times in only one game. That's a new bungle record. All right, now. Boswell for the win. And I promise, Shins, this is the last play of this game. The kick is up. There it is. And... 3-2-1, holy God win. All right now, Steelers, get the hell off that field. Next thing you know, the Patriots will jog on out there, and we have to keep playing. See? Belichick's already out there. Oh, wait. That's just a hefty bag with holes blowing in the wind. No, Depp. I'm not going to go see how the queen is doing. He's with, what what I tell you? The second I die, boom, I'm beelining it right to Chris Farley. I got Tommy Boy up here. You want me to go hang out with an old lady? The queen been up here like 10 minutes. You want me to go down there and bugger about Megan Marbles? Maybe I'll go see what uh, Marky Post and Miss Elizabeth are doing tonight. Well, hey, Deb, till death do us part. And, you know, obviously, now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go haunt Tom's house. See if a poltergeist can get him to finally move. Ooh, jag off. Get out of here. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe button, or I'm coming to haunt your house, too. Like that library scene in the beginning of Ghostbusters. You remember that? <laughs>